kuongea na watoto wetu na kuwaelekeza kwa ile njia ambayo inafaa nikiongeza tu kidogo tumekuwa tukifanya kazi ya mabadiliko katika ukulima wa majani chai and to a certain extent we have succeeded to a certain extent we have not succeeded na ile shida iko katika sekta ya chai is a high cost of production na nimekuwa nikiongea sana na watu ya KTDA ya kwamba wapunguze ile gharama pa kilo tumepata bei nzuri mwaka huu lakini factories zingine zimepata bonus iko chini kwa sababu wasimamisi wa hiyo factory wameweka gharama ya production kuwa juu ndio unaona factories zingine zimerifika zingine ziko chini yet the quality of the tea was the same the price was the same so tukitaka kuuliza wakurugenzi wa KTDA wajaribu tafadhali vile niongea na nyinyi Mombasa tupunguze the cost of production juu ya hayo tunaendelea kutafuta mtan, eh, mtambo wa orthodox tea kwa sababu orthodox tea gharama ya eh, bei yake iko juu by 1 dollar as compared to CTC kwa hivyo tumekuwa na mpango na factory zetu za KTDA serikali za county na serikali kuu tusaidiane ya kwamba we upgrade ile production line kuu ya orthodox tea ndio tuweze kupata bei iko juu ya kusaidia wakulima kwa mambo ya kahawa tumeendelea sana na tuliita mkutano pale Meru ya coffee conference na tukakubaliana mabadiliko tutafanya katika sekta ya kahawa turudishe coffee board of kenya turudishe the coffee research institute ndio mambo yetu iweze kutembea sawa sawa na ningetaka niseme tulitengeneza sheria na ninafurahi iko katika bunge la kitaifa niliona mheshimiwa mchomba akichangia tunataka kuuliza bunge la kitaifa tafadhali mupitishe huo mswada ndio tuweze kuithinisha hiyo sheria iweze kusaidia wakulima wa kahawa kwa ile mambo ambayo inaendelea sisi tunahusunika sana kwa sababu hii serikali tulipata kwa maombi tukiwa kwa shida mingi sana na sisi na watu ya hapa Mount Kenya na wale kutoka Rift Valley tuliungana tukapendana na tukakuwa na maelewano na tukamuunga rais mkono nikiwa naibu wake ningetaka tu kuuliza rais wetu ajaribu tu aweke nyumba yake pamoja tuweze kufanyia wananchi kazi tangu tuchaguliwe ni mwaka miwili kuna kazi mingi sana simesimama ya barabara ya maji ya stima ya mashule na kulingana na mimi hiyo ndio kitu ya maana sana hii maneno ya mipango ya kuumiza wengine na kutatisa wengine hiyo maneno ukiniuliza haina haja kwa sababu sisi tulipewa miaka tano tufanye kazi na kama iko shida kwa boma mzee mwenye boma ataketi chini na bibi zake na watoto atatue lakini tukianza kutengana i want to caution that the direction that is being taken ya kubomoa hii nyumba yetu hii nyumba ikibomoka haitarudi tena that is the truth that action people are planning wakisaidiwa na watu hawakuwa na sisi ikivuja hii boma ya UDA haitaweza rudi tena itasabaratika na hapa hapa <coughs> kwetu kikuyuni kuna msemo inasemanga usipoteze inne ukifuata ngapi nane i want to ask my brother my vice president william ruto to be cautious and do the right thing let's keep our house together let us not be destructive and let us not reintroduce the politics of betrayal president william ruto <coughs> is the greatest beneficiary of the peoples of mount kenya distant for betrayal our people hate betrayal and they are very unforgiving if you betray them i ask my brother president william ruto not to be tempted to go to that direction because these people will be very unforgiving when there was an attempt to betray him the people of this region said no we don't like betrayal we don't entertain betrayal and for that reason the people of this region stood with him to a man to express their displeasure at betrayal 
if the people of this region feel betrayed, as they will if we go into that direction, these people will be very unforgiving. That's just my advice. It doesn't have to be taken. I've been around for a long time. Mimi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Moi, nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Kebake, nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Uhuru. Sasa niko hapo mimi najua mambo mawili matatu. Hii watu ya mlima Kenya mimi nawaelewa sana. Kisaliti hii watu uhusiano yako na hawa itafika mwisho. And it cannot be salvaged. I still think there is room for the president to put his house in order, talk to everybody, and let us get back to work and serve the people of Kenya, execute the mandate that they gave us. We give very many promises. We need to keep those promises. And it's important that we keep those promises. The other day I asked the president to keep one promise to the people of Kenya that requires no funding, requires no IMF, requires no World Bank. He promised the people of Kenya that under his watch, his deputy will never be humiliated. Didn't he promise? We are asking him to keep that promise. If he can't keep that one promise, nobody can trust him to keep any other promise. So it's up to him. It's up to him. Sisi tuko pale, sisi ni watu wa Mungu. And for me, I'm comforted by the fact that when things were very difficult for President William Ruto, and he was under a lot of attack, a lot of schemes, a lot of intimidation, a lot of humiliation, a lot of harassment, Mungu alisimama na Huyo huyo Mungu alisimama na Rais William Ruto. Hakuna bahari ameenda. Si yako tu. That is my comfort. Ya kwamba huyo Mungu hakuna bahari ameenda. He's still there. So let us see how things unfold. Let us see how things unfold, but we have a country to run. We need to be careful so that we don't create a criminal in this country. And I want to advise that we came together with our brothers from the Rift Valley to support President William Ruto, and we agreed. Let us not create a situation where these communities never trust each other in future. I think we need to be careful. We need to be careful. We need to walk the path and the journey that we started. We want to support the president to succeed. We are more than ready so that we serve the people of Kenya for the time that God has given us a chance through the people of Kenya. And in my view, that is the right thing to do. Any attempt to disrupt that mandate will have serious implications in our politics. And that is not healthy for the country. It's not healthy for our government. And it is not healthy for our leadership. So let us be careful. Let us be cautious. Let us be reasonable. And let us do the right thing by respecting the will of the people. The people of Kenya, through a direct vote, chose a president and a deputy. Give the people of Kenya that respect. Let us not try to carry out their mandate and take it upon ourselves to interfere with the will of the people. Mimi sitaki nisidishe kutoka hapo. Nimeshukuru sana Baba Askofu tutakutafuta ndio tujue vile tutasaidia. We want to thank you, Presiding Bishop, for the very strong sermon. As it has been well articulated here, it is very relevant to the situation we are in, when everybody is feeling low, that barely two years after forming government, we are in a situation that we should never be. But I believe 